Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to Myth of Empires where we are, we made a cart. The cart is the one of the most amazing things in this game. Um, it's it's super, super cool. They call it a wheelbarrow, and it's, it's a, um, this is a mistake. Um, one, of, uh, one, of the, one of our usuals, uh, Rabbits, one of my mods, he, he said, I think that gets pulled by a, by a horse. And I said, nah, man, it says wheelbarrow. It's a translation issue, and you make it in your carpenter's bench. Let me go ahead and show you right here what it's going to take. You, the uh, wheelbarrow is uh, two wooden wheels. You, it's 11 planks it is 10 copper ingots and three twine and this is you can make this at level 30 um, the wheels are actually you can make it level 20 so if you want to go ahead and, and make those wheels ahead of time you can wheels are fairly cheap they're uh, one plank one rope and one copper ingot and you need two of those like i said and there's the rest of the the stuff right there the description is in chinese still so be aware they are working through the translation and so this is a cart this is not it's not a wagon, it's a cart, it's a horse cart, but it is also a wheelbarrow because you can also push it by hand. So that's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird thing. But once you go ahead and you get, you tame yourself a horse and you get yourself the quote unquote wheelbarrow, you can come over here and let's go ahead and this is what it looks like. And if you hold down the E button, you can actually, you can hand cart this, you can drive this cart and it moves pretty well. It really is reminiscent of the, of the cart in, um, or the, 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 the wagon in life is futile. Um, and we go ahead and we'll just uh, we leave the cart there. Okay, now I can get away from it. Now let me go ahead and I'm going to go into the stable here. We're going to pull our horse out. Let's go ahead and let's go to open the inventory right quick. And let's go ahead and click on my horse and retrieve it. I'm going to go ahead and I've got a couple of volunteers here to help me out. Um, I've got uh, Miss Kitty Pew Pew. And uh, D rabbits over here, or, uh, or uh, is it Kulan or Kulan? Kulan. Kulan. All right. Oh, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get on my horse right quick. All we have to do, if you remember, life is futile. All you have to do is get your horse close yeah. enough, close, kind of close. Oh yeah, that that noise. Get kind of close to the uh, to the cart, and then let's see. It is not in here. It's in here. We go ahead, I think, and we put the, here it is, connect to the horse, boom. Okay, that is connected to the horse, believe it or not. And so when I get on, it will, it'll move. Hang on, rabbits, one second. It should connect. Are we not connected? Okay, I wasn't close enough, so I'm going to have to get, you have to get closer. And this this horse can, can go backwards, right? Yeah, it can. So just bear with me while we back her up, get her close enough that we're, it should connect to the cart. I don't know why it didn't connect to the cart. It should. She wasn't close enough, I guess. Are we good? Oh, you know what I did? You have to go like, you have to cl click on connect to horse and then the animal you want to. There, now see that little movement there? That little baby movement? Now you can get on the horse and, uh, and we can pull her around. However... This cart has a couple of features here that, that the carts in Life is Feudal never did. Uh, guys, you want to go ahead and jump in the back of the cart? You have the option. There are three seats, and you can actually they can actually ride in the cart. Just open inventory and uh, click ride. You open your inventory and do what? And you click ride. And mm -hmm. click on... Ride. Where I don't see the ride. Uh, oh, if you need to hold the, the E. Hold the E button. It's going to be like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be like the two uh, arrows kind of thing. Oh, right. right. Boom. Okay. It's two arrows side by side. You have to hold down the E button, Kulan. I'm trying, but it, it I don't see the two arrows. Okay. If you hold down the, it's a, it's a one in the uh, three o'clock position on the, uh, if it was an hour, if it was a, if it was a clock. Okay. I just have the destroy button there. That's all you have? Oh. Oh, no, destroy. No, it's the one above it. There we go. Now it's showing. There we go. Hello. All right. So, and you can move positions. You guys want to move positions and show and show how you can move from one position to another? Uh, yeah. If you don't like where you're sitting and you're trying to bump somebody over. Um, oh, wait. Oops. That's not what you meant. <laughs> it's F two or F three. Oh, as F two or F three? 
doesn't seem to be working. It says, uh, can't change your seat. The other seats have been occupied. Oh, okay. So maybe oh, there are three seats, though. Uh, we, uh, th is it three or four people? There might be four. There's only three of us right now. When we get another person, we're going to test it out again, guys. But let me go ahead. I'm going to jump up on here. And I want to show you our big concern was, are we going to flip it? Are we going to, uh, is it going to like fall apart? Is it going to disconnect from the horse? Look at this, man. Okay, let me, let me, let me not hit this, this, this building. I'm looking backwards so you guys can see what it looks like. So it, it actually holds pretty, pretty well. And we're going to see, we can go down this road right quick. And that's about as fast as she goes, but that's as fast as the horse goes. So I'm, I'm the the the, th the couple of the main uh, challenges that we were worried about is will it be too slow? Which I don't think that's this is not considered slow, right, guys? Nope. nope. It's a decent pace. Yep. Um, and Long then to war. and then I'm gonna go. Now you guys, you guys just kind of okay. See how it angled? And it just bounces. It's not going to roll over. So I'm pretty happy with that. Wait, did we lose it? No, we didn't lose it. Okay, let's hit some rocks. And some sticks. I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a, an amazing thing. And then, um, really cool. can it take a hill? That was the last thing. And we live on a side of a hill. So let's do this thing. Ah! <laughs> How about this? Can we flip it? Can we flip it? Uh oh, no. It's not going to flip. It's not going to flip. Nope. I mean, not even getting stuck. Not even getting stuck. This thing, they've done a really great job with this cart. As long as I don't kill my horse going up and down a hill, <laughs> we're good. I mean, rocks will stop you, trees will stop you, but I mean, if they're too big, if your horse can't get through them, then yeah, then we got an issue. But if you, I mean, you know, we go straight up this hill. Can I go straight up the hill? We did yesterday. Why can I not now? Okay, well, it might be a little too much for this guy. The horse looks upset. He probably yeah, is. Wilbur's I don't like blame him. Come on, Wilbur. You can do this. Wilbur's got this, man. Yeah. She's a good horse. <laughs> All right. But I'm going to show you the... In a second, guys, I'm going to show you the, the carrying capacity of this thing. It's It says carrying capacity times two. So um, I, I, I imagine whatever the horse can pull, it doubles. Or whatever the horse can carry, it doubles it. So okay, we ran into it. We ran into a moringa tree here. Um, all right. I'm gonna pull it back, and then we're gonna jump off. And I'm gonna show you the uh, the amount that you can, your amount of slots it's got. It's got a lot of slots here. Thanks for the uh, for the assist, guys. I appreciate it. Pretty cool, no right? Problem. Thanks for yeah, the fun ride. Yeah, it is. So we've got uh, uh, it's uh, I think it's nine, three, six, nine by three is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven slots plus it's double whatever your horse can carry. So the horse inventory says I he can carry. Um, okay, it, uh, it doubled it already. So it's sixteen hundred and eight right now. Oh wait, I wonder if that's because Wilbur's gone up in level. Let me remove oh. the cart. And um, let me see. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to remove this connection. And then Wilbur should. It's kind of slow to mount, but I've got a lot of stuff on me. But All right, let's go ahead. Okay, Wilbur's no longer no longer part of the thing. And inventory says. Yeah, 536. So so it's uh, it's three times. Wilbur ha Wilbur can carry uh, can carry. 536 and it said 1608 that's three times the carry weight so even though in here it says t uh, twice uh it's actually three times so whatever we can carry plus two or the times two right that makes sense uh, yeah. wilbur can carry 536 and then now your horse would be different you uh rabbits i think probably yeah. um you want to check out your horse and see what it what it says yeah. 
1684. So yeah, it is 100% dependent. So you can carry 80, 80, 80 pounds more than my can. So it's, it, it is, uh, it is, you know, dependent on how strong your horse is, that's how much you're going to be able to carry. Um, and this really, I mean, if you want to travel to a new spot to build a new base, this is going to be definitely a, a something that you want to do because your horse, uh, the, your horse can move, um, I think for, probably faster than somebody can run, right? Oh uh, yeah. For sure. But archers would probably be able to hurt you. But but still, I'm thinking that I mean you can you could travel across the map with this and a good like a whole base worth of material, pretty easily. Sixteen hundred and eighty four is you know I, that's I mean like I can carry almost a whole base on me with two hundred pounds. So look at this. Yeah, you can have the horse follow you too. That's another thing, yeah. right? Yeah. And he follows you with the cart. That's amazing. With the cart. All right. Well, hey guys, that's the cart. The that's the the quote unquote wheelbarrow that you get at level thirty. Um, but you know, like I said, the wheels are made at level twenty. So uh, highly suggest you get this as soon as possible. It's really cheap to make. Really super easy to do. And uh, it's going to really be uh, a boon for you when you're out there collecting all those co copper nodes, those iron nodes, or you know even all the all that hardwood that you're going to need to do your building. So anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody who uh, who helped me in the video, uh, Rabbits and, uh, and Miss Kitty Pew Pew. Uh, thank you very much for your help. And uh, as I would say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later. You guys want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.